What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Mukbang with Manny Boy Sandoval. That's my name. So this is my very first Mukbang, and I'm super excited just because I've been a huge fan of watching other YouTubers' Mukbangs, and I really wanted to start one on my own. A little bit about me really quick. I am a mass communications major at California State University, San Bernardino. I graduate this June. I also work for a radio station and do a lot of writing with newspapers and a whole lot of uh, media type stuff. But YouTube is something I've been so fascinated with for the past few years, probably a little bit longer than that, but mukbang specifically the past few years. And um, I'm going to do my first one, like I mentioned already. So I love food. I'm usually not the biggest fan of commercial you know, commercial restaurants, but I am going to do my very first one on a item from Taco Bell. So, you know, I'm not the biggest Taco Bell fan, but um, I'm going to give their new fried chicken chalupa taco a shot. Um, so the reason why I chose this is because obviously I love eating outrageous food. I love trying different food, food that sounds kind of wacky, and Taco Bell is always the, the people who do that the best. So let's take a look. And I'm going to tell you guys the truth. If I really think it's a bomb, I'm going to be like, yo, y'all need to go get this right now. If I don't really care for it, I will be as brutally honest in a very nice way as, as possible. Okay, so it actually... okay. Let me put all of the tomatoes fell out. I think I was driving a little crazy. So this is the naked chicken chalupa. And if you can see, it has obviously the the what is typically fried on our tacos. This is actually, okay, so what it looks like is a chicken sandwich with some lettuce, tomato, cheese in the middle and just like sort of put into a taco um, shape. So I think it, it looks good. This kind of smells like a, a chicken sandwich sort of patty. I know this is kind of seeming like a food review a little bit, but it's my first time having this taco. So uh, I'm going to go a little more into, into detail with it. I also got extra hot sauce because I'm brown and I love a lot of hot sauce. Shoot, everything keeps falling out of this thing. I'm glad they at least put it in a stand because this shit would probably keep falling over. Okay, and I also, okay, so right now at Taco Bell they have like a, a combo which you get the naked chicken chalupa taco, you get a Doritos taco, and then you also get a regular hard shell taco. With a drink, I got a Diet Coke um, for like five bucks, which is actually a really good price. I was originally going and just going to get two of the Naked Chicken Chalupa tacos, but they were $2.99 each. So this was like a dollar less, and I also got three tacos and a drink. So that was a, a steal for me. So um, let me take the other tacos out. Oh, snaps. All right. I'm kind of a little bit of a messy eater, so, wow, I don't know where all this cheese came from. It's literally like Cheeseville in this bag right now. I'll add it to the top of this one. So, I got two kinds of hot sauce. I got the mild and the hot. Honestly, I don't go to Taco Bell that often, so I don't really know the difference. Obviously, mild isn't as hot as hot, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to start off with the mild just because I'm not a big, uh, I love spice, but I don't like outrageously hot. And also, if I have time at the end, I will show you guys my dog. Well, he's actually my little brother's dog, but he is a uh, a mix of a chihuahua and a poodle. So he's actually really cute. He's about two months right now. If you hear any little noises in the background, that is him. Okay, so I took it out of the wrapper or the little cardboard finally. I'm going to put some hot sauce on it. All right. I'm going to go in for the first bite. Okay. It's 
it's pretty good actually. I am a huge chicken fan. I'm a huge. I think a little bit of something just like literally shot out of my mouth. But anyways, I'm a huge chicken fan, and I love spicy chicken sandwiches. And that's kind of what this tastes like. Obviously, it's pretty odd, considering the fact that there's like lettuce and cheese, and it's kind of just folded in half. But um, I'm digging it so far. I, I think I I'm not sure if I would order it again, but it's not bad. I'll let you know my my final answer at the end of this taco. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try the hot hot sauce now. So, I love like, oh, they didn't give me no napkins. Give me one second. I'm going to grab some napkins really quick. So, speaking of fast food, since, um, you know, I hardly ever go to Taco Bell, I am a huge food fan just in general. I love trying new food. I mentioned that earlier. I love a lot of Asian foods, which I've tried everything from Korean to Thai to Vietnamese to Japanese to Chinese. And out of those five, you know, I love them all. My favorite is definitely has to be Korean food. There's this place in LA that I've gone quite a few times. It's called Bibigo. And I love their kimchi. I don't know what it is. Kimchi, well, kimchi, I know exactly what it is. I don't know what it is that makes me love it so much. Kimchi is fermented cabbage, and it's kind of spicy. I'm a big cabbage fan in general, so I think that's why, probably why I love it. But uh, yeah, so if you guys ever have the chance in your life to try any type of Asian food, you got to try Korean food, try kimchi, and let me know what you think about it because I think it's um, it's a pretty... I mean, it's a pretty odd combination, which is like ca for cabbage fermented in general. doesn't sound that amazing, plus spicy cabbage. Um, it doesn't sound right right away, but it's amazing. So you guys got to check that out and uh, let me know what you think. Make sure to leave a comment below. Also, I'll probably forget at the end of this video, so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting up new videos every single Thursday. So here's another look at the taco. I'm about a little more than halfway done with it. Now that I'm halfway done with it, I feel like I prefer regular tacos a little bit more. This um, is kind of weird because like now my hands are really greasy. So if you're not a fan of getting your hands, it's kind of like eating fried chicken. I'm kind of that person that hates touching fried chicken because your hands get greasy. And this is leaving my hands really greasy, so I hope I don't have to scratch my face or anything like that. So what are your guys' favorite fast food restaurants? Leave that uh, in a comment below, and I'll respond to as many of you guys as I can. So I would have to say my favorite fast food restaurant would probably be... You guys are going to hate me for this because it's such a vanilla kind of place. But it would definitely be Subway. I love Subway. I always get the ham. Um, what is it? Like the Black Forest ham there. I'll go to Subway maybe like once a week. I also, I love In-N-Out. I just feel like In-N-Out is very sort of fresh with their ingredients. And that's something that makes me really like Chipotle a lot. I love Chipotle's burritos. I know Chipotle gets a lot of flack, it seems like. A lot of people like to diss and, and hate on Chipotle, but I think it's pretty amazing. And I love that everything, all the ingredients seem pretty pretty fresh and you don't get that anywhere you go you don't get that everywhere you go oh 
I'm squirting myself. <laughs> Glad I didn't get any on because I have a white jacket on. So I am leaving to Vegas tonight, well, tomorrow morning, which we're leaving at the crack of freaking dawn at like 7 a.m., which uh, we're going for a Super Bowl weekend, which my family and friends usually go every single year, Super Bowl weekend. So it should be a pretty good time. Today I went and got all my last minute like snacks and all that and my drinks. Of course, you can't go to Vegas without drinks. I got uh, Jack Daniels. Actually, no, I got Jim Beam, the whiskey. And I like to drink that on the rocks. And then I also picked up a bottle of, well, excuse me, Kahlua, which I'm a huge coffee drinker. I love coffee. And uh, a few shots of that inside of uh, my coffee is amazing. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You get a little buzz going on with your coffee. So I probably won't drink it in the morning, but I'll probably for sure drink it midday. I got the, the Starbucks, Stater, Brother, Stater Brothers, which is a grocery store in my area. They sell these Starbucks 40-ounce um, caramel macchiato drinks. And 40 ounces could serve about four to five drinks. So I'm going to um, take a couple of those with me, pour it in a cup, and then add some a few shots of the Kahlua. And it uh, should be a good time. So what are you guys um, eating today? I always say the word eating kind of weird. So if you didn't understand me, I said, what are you guys eating today? But it sounded like I said eating. Which it kind of does sound like eating, but if I say it real fast, just never mind. <laughs> so what are you guys eating today? Let me know what y'all are eating, if you're eating with me. Um, I feel like I'm taking a really long time to eat this one taco. Okay. I will admit, I actually ate before I started eating these. I had some soup, some chicken and cabbage soup that I made, homemade chicken and cabbage soup that I made yesterday. Plus, I had some pasta and um, some green tea. But um, don't worry because I'm gonna head to the gym right after this. So I know I'm kind of I'm kind of effing up this week. I did so well last week, and this week I've been really lazy with working out. I've been eating freaking. Damn chicken taco, chicken chalupa, what is this called? Naked chicken chalupa tacos, and it's just all bad, but I'm having a good time. So I'm on vacation starting now, and uh, cheers. I wish I, I should make a drink right now, too. That'd be pretty... Uh... Some whiskey and tacos. Last bite of the chicken chalupa taco. So, I think that that taco was, it was good. It wasn't great. The one thing that I do wish it had was more lettuce in the middle. So the only thing that was inside was lettuce, cheese, and tomatoes. The tomatoes were good. Everything was good. It's just I wish there was a lot more lettuce than there was. There was like only a few strands. They could definitely add some more lettuce to that. I'm a lettuce freak and I love lettuce. You can never have enough lettuce in anything. All my family and close friends know that I'm obsessed with lettuce. Apparently Taco Bell don't know it yet, but uh, we're about to find out. Okay, so I'm going to eat one. Okay, so there's three tacos. I don't think I have it in me to eat all three of them. Um, damn, cheese is flying out of this one like crazy. This is the regular taco. Okay, if you guys can see, there's literally like cheese just thrown all over the place. I'm going to eat the Doritos taco from Taco Bell as well. Believe it or not, I actually have not tried the Doritos cheese fiery cool rant. Oh wait, I'm crazy. Okay, so it is only one taco, which um, this is the nacho cheese Dorito taco. So I love Doritos, 
and I like tacos. So mix into one. I'm pretty sure this is going to be pretty, pretty bomb. Here's a little shot of it. It's cracked. Which when I was a kid, cracked tacos used to piss me the hell off. I think me and my parents got in so many fights and like arguments when I was like five, because I would probably, because I would probably, I know what I would do. I would literally. <sighs> It's kind of embarrassing. So I would pick it up and then like all the meat would fall out because it was cracked or whatever. I would get in trouble because I would throw a fit about the tacos breaking in half. But um, obviously I'm a grown up now so I don't do that shit. Okay, so this is the mild hot sauce. And I opened it up upside down. But the cool thing is when I was showing you guys it was right side up. Okay, so this is my first time trying this one as well. I know this is no groundbreaking information because I'm sure there's so many reviews and videos on YouTube about this freaking taco. But for some of you who haven't tried it, I'm going to give you all the 411. The shell is really good, but the meat is really cold. And by cold, I actually mean like not warm. It's actually cold, which that's pretty ridiculous. But I'm still going to eat it because I paid the five bucks for it. Are you guys the type of person that uses like one hot sauce packet per bite? Because I definitely am. It's kind of funny. Have you guys ever gone to any fast food restaurant and the people give you like two hot sauce packets for six tacos and you're like, hey bro, I'm going to need a handful. I'm going to need two handfuls. And then they kind of come back with like six. But then you're like, yo, I still need like two more handfuls. And they're giving you like two at a time. And that drives me crazy. It's like, what are you doing? Are you, are you paying for the hot sauce packets? Are they coming out of your check? I'm not sure. Like, I'll pay extra for them. Please just give me what I need. Yeah, so if this one wasn't cold, it would be pretty amazing. Oh, I already told you it's Diet Coke. It's kind of weird. Last week, all last week actually, let me bring y'all a little bit closer. All last week, I was having the weirdest soda cravings, and I wanted a soda every single day when I got out of school, like Monday through Friday. And I, I had it maybe about two or three times out of all those days that I really wanted it. And this week I haven't, like, I got a Diet Coke right now and I haven't really touched it. I'm not really feeling soda today, which is kind of, what I really want is coffee right now with a shot of Kahlua. But it's Thursday, so I'm not going to do that. If it was Friday, I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm about to have me a, actually, it's my weekend, so. Who knows, maybe after this, but I still got to go to the gym. I don't want to be running on the treadmill or lifting weights with the, with the buzz, although I have done that before. A friend of mine, about two years ago, after work, we were drinking. We are out with a group of like maybe seven people. We had these gym memberships for a, for a gym that was open 24 hours, and um, – this was like 2 in the morning, about 2.30 in the morning, and we all kind of departed ways, and me and my friend were like, yo, we should hit up the gym, which it sounded like an amazing idea, and then we finally got to the gym, and we were um, ready to go immediately, So, um, which we actually worked out, I want to say, for about an hour, which is kind of ridiculous. I remember telling my mom, yeah, we went to the gym yesterday. She's like, didn't you go out yesterday? I was like, yeah, and she was like, that's ridiculous. Like, why, don't do that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty... I don't advise anyone to do that, actually. 
drink and go to the gym. Drink and gym. Those two don't match. It's kind of funny. Every time I say, I tell my family, like, oh, I'm going to go to the gym. They're like, oh, you're going to Jim's house? Just to, like, make fun of me. They don't think that I really work out. Well, I'm nearing the end of my second taco. I've had so much fun with you guys. I can't believe it's been 20 minutes already. That is crazy. I probably looked really stupid doing that right now. Also, you guys, make sure to follow me on my social media pages. I'm going to put the link below. And, um, yeah, hit me up. I love interacting with everyone on YouTube and... The entire social media, digital world is something that I'm very passionate about, inspired by, and very involved in. So, Okay, so I, I put literally all the hot sauce on top. This is really odd, and I feel like a freaking kid, but um, cheers. So... My fried chicken hands. So I haven't gone to Del Taco. Minus my, my college has a Del Taco inside of it. And one of my friends bought me, not a Del Taco, Taco Bell. And one of my friends bought me um, a couple burritos a couple weeks ago. And we were just sitting, chilling, and talking about life. And um, it was actually pretty good that day. But, um, yeah, I don't think I, – I haven't, like, purchased Taco Bell on my own maybe for, like, five or six years. I feel like it's probably really good if you're drunk, probably passed out, but um, I'm not either of those two. So it kind of was a bit of a doze a, – a no, not a snooze. It sucked. Okay, so that's what it was. I wouldn't have it again. Even though I only paid five bucks for it, I probably would not spend another five dollars just because of the fact that – the meat was cold in the second taco. The first one made my hands greasy. There was not enough lettuce. Their, their hot sauce is actually pretty bomb, though. I'm going to save these other four packets for this other taco probably tonight when I get back from the gym, which that's I know that's not the best gym food, after gym food, but um, I'm going to do it. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. Um... Check me out on my social media pages. Look out for a new video every single Thursday, you guys. I've enjoyed talking, hanging out with you guys for my very first ever mukbang. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to be excited. That's not who I truly am in life. I'm really serious. And <clears throat> My dog just made no noise. His name's Rocky. I'm going to actually go get him. Give me like 15 seconds, and um, I'll be right back with him, you guys. So you guys can meet him. Come on. Let's go say hi. You want to go say hi? Here he is, guys. He's acting crazy right now. His name's Rocky. Say hi. Here. Sit. He's a little scared because his owner's out of town right now. Say hi, Rocky. He's a poodle slash chihuahua mix. He's pretty crazy. Him and our pug got into a fight yesterday. Oh, he wants to get down. So, you guys, I'll see y'all next Thursday. Make sure y'all subscribe. Leave a comment below, and I will keep up with y'all later. Bye.